Hebrews chapter 11 verses 6. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and he is to water them that del diligently seek him. He said, without faith it is impossible to please God. Genesis chapter 18 verses 4. Is there anything too hard for the Lord to do? At a point of time, I will return to you about this time next year. Sarah will conceive and have a son. And the Bible says, faith. You know, Abraham walked by faith. So did Sarah. It was her faith. And she believed God. It was accounted to her as faith. Though, though Abraham was 90, 99 years old and Sarah was 90 years old. So they, they, they had that faith that it's nothing too hard for the Lord to do. Matthew chapter 19 verses 26. But when Jesus looked at them and said, with men, it is impossible. With men, yeah, hey, this is, this is impossible. It can't happen. But with God, all things are possible. And you must, those that come to God, you must believe that he is, that he's able, that he's willing to do it and believe that he is. And he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You know, you seek God with all your heart. Like I say, you seek him, you will find him. He, you know, he is the reward. Colossians chapter three, verses 23 through 24. What, whatever you do, work it with all your heart as working unto the Lord and not human masters. Since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as your reward, it is the Lord Christ who you're serving. Again, you know, you're going to receive that that inheritance. You receive that that heavenly reward. Romans chapter 2 verses 6. God will repay each person according to what they have done. Again, God will reward you. He will reward you with a heavenly home. He will reward you with that mansion. Amen. 